Welcome, 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 wherever you are, welcome to the tour bus of the Helsinki Vampires. I'm Jyrki from the 69 Eyes. Please follow me. This is probably my favorite spot in tour bus. It's a, it's a seat in front and I, I love the road. I love American road and that is so poetic to sit here early in the morning and see the beautiful landscapes. Now it's been winter, which is pretty much looking like in Finland, but it's, it's really beautiful. And I can't wait for us to go much further up north, all the way down from Seattle to San Diego. And then, you know, it's, it's so beautiful. So whenever I wake up, I come here to sit and see, you know, the beautiful American road, because that's what I love. All right, this is the front lounge, and uh, we have these entertainment systems here, which are not on because uh, this is about like fifth day on the tour. Uh, usually takes like two weeks to figure out. You know, there's so many remote controls. I don't personally know even how to use them, but I didn't come here to watch TV. You know, sometimes I do that at home, but. I have my own kind of entertainment and besides we're on the road that there's just I open up the windows and you know look at the beautiful road I don't need that TV but it's here somebody might need that and uh, you know maybe that time comes but it's it's a joke like it takes a couple of weeks to realize how the all these machine works because you know maybe someday they come up with the one only remote control but still you know there's like even this saddleback of remote controls so you know I don't know I don't need them being on the road is always uh, and, and playing show after show we meet a lot of fans we have meet and greets uh, I just gathered here some interesting presents from the fans uh, sometimes you know they make uh, beautiful stuff this is like a handmade woolen scarf by some beautiful gothic lady my name on it she made to all the members of the band and then sometimes you find the letters with our names and you know obviously um, from beautiful gothic girls you know that's that's always interesting well, some fan art and here's uh, the recent thing when I just like somebody got us this uh, very cool uh, glow-in-the-dark patches and this is a present I haven't opened up for yet, so let's see what's there. I got this today. Somebody handed this to our crew guys. Mm. Wow. It's velvet Elvis. Literally. Wow. Amazing stuff. The other thing here, uh, which is very important, is our day sheet. So we have four bands on the tour, uh, and uh, there's schedules for sound checks, what time they are going on, what time we're gonna have meet and greet, what time we're doing actually this interview here, and uh, what's going to happen next few days, where we're gonna be, and where we are right now. So I remember when I'm uh, announcing on stage, like, hey, you know, like two horns up, MFs, uh, Chicago, you know, that's how it goes. That's how I know where we are, because you lost the track of time and place. This is, this is a moving bubble. This is a submarine, and uh, this is a black submarine. So you are, nothing else matters. Whatever happens here, that's a reality. Whatever happens outside, that's more like, uh, you know, that's just outside the world. So sometimes you need you get reminded where you are. Techniques for the crew, they use walkie-talkies, so, you know, we have uh, like uh, five babysitting crew guys around here, and they keep track on us where each member of the band is, and then they gather us and bring on stage. And uh, they need walkie-talkies to communicate, and uh, you know, it's like, um, we've been doing this 30 years, but the most important part of a successful tour is very good crew and we are very lucky to have always most of the times very good crew and this crew has been fantastic here you know just in case you don't know I'm a vegan and uh, that brought me so much happiness in my life 
So uh, as a vampire, a vegan vampire on tour, the fridge has, you know, for me it has like a vegan chocolate and uh, of course, well, it has a necessary stuff for, you know, rock and roll, but it also has like a vegan blood. So that's very important. So cheers, skol, prost and kippis. Vegan blood. Oh, bathroom, all right. Okay, hey, there you can see my hairspray collection. We're Glammy Band, we started 1989, so you know, we have the hair metal side of us and glam rock, that is important. And maybe some, inst you know, some stuff, usual stuff. That is called rule number one. We got a toilet, but it's used for only one purpose and that paper always reminds what purpose and what not. Welcome to the bunk section. Here they are. They are pretty much like coffin kind. Dark places that all these nightly creatures, uh, the crew included, crawl back when the you know sun comes up. And when the sun goes down, we all come out from the bunks. Here's my bunk. Um, I always like this place. Um, uh, this is this I've been sleeping in this bunk not this literal this bunk, but bunk which is here Some like 20 25 years because this is this is my I want it to be here and uh, what I have with me. It's like uh, literature rock and roll magazines uh, Books this is book that I'm currently reading Mobis then it all fell apart a fellow vegan, but also very cool rocker I really would recommend this book and it's also really good read on the road because it has a lot of road stories uh, very interesting ones and it's 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 fantastic book everybody should really check this out and uh, um, yeah magazines love letter some girl some gothic girl you know sent me her story and uh, you know they, those <laughs> I'm reading them in my bed and Sharpies. Sometimes, you know, we, we have the people want something to get signed. Sharpies are something good to be at hand. Let me go to the back lounge and, and chill out a little bit and please come back later, right? All right, welcome to the back lounge. This is the dressing room kind of place and I'm already dressed up like what I do after show I have a Black Sabbath uh, wardrobe bathrobe how you want to call it and uh, of course Black Sabbath slippers so this is very comfy after show um, I hang out like this chill out um, or if there's something else going on in town, I'm probably not going dressed up like this. I just like uh, rock out and jump to the car or Uber and I head to the where the after party is. But if it's, there's no after party and bus is leaving immediately, I'm dressing up like this. And here's, you know, our gear, stage gear. We dress up here. Oh, this is actually uh, something healthy. This is my yoga mat. Uh, I, I stretch and uh, you know, exercise with it every day to keep it fit. And um, what else? Oh yeah, here's my. Um, oh yeah, start from this. We we had a day off. Uh, we had a day off in Cleveland, so naturally we went to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I bought some souvenirs from there. Um, here's my collection of sunglasses. Um, actually, <laughs> I have nearly this case full of sunglasses. I just took these out to to show you guys. Um, yeah, well, the difference between the front lounge and the back lounge is like uh, this more where the band hangs out and uh, we uh, get ready for the show, we play. Here's also audio systems here, but they are not that much used. We just mostly, you know, this is like our backstage room. We play some Motorhead, some uplifting rock and roll, Misfits Motorhead, Ramones. Get ready for the show, dress up, and after show we come here you know, to get our gear to try up. I mean, 
uh, these are like uh, we got these custom made like uh, leathers. This my this my stage jacket. It's pretty old. Uh, it's I um, I this like nearly 20 years old. This is actually a similar kind of jacket that Axel Rose uh, had back in the day. So I tracked it out from eBay and bought it. It's like 2009. And now we resurrected for this tour all this gear. We used to wear this like nearly over 10 years ago, and now we resurrected all this stuff for the tour. And I have my custom made, you know, pants. It has our the 69 ice ank on the knee and, and stuff like that. So, but they get very sweaty after the show because we jump around. So that's how we, 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 you know, come bring them here to try. And uh, yeah, this is, this is how it starts, how the show starts. We dress up here and this is how it all ends in the end. We uh, come here to chill out and uh, then we move to another town and we are ready to rock again. All right, so uh, the 69 Ice is celebrating our 30th anniversary right now. We're touring all over the world. We just toured in the US, like here. Then we're going to uh, Russia, Eastern European countries, Ukraine, and then we go in, in uh, April this year, 2020, we go to Latin America and summer festivals come, on, come in the summer. Later in the fall, we return to the States. So check out our new album, West End. It's our 12th record. We've been playing rock and roll for 30 years and we're never gonna stop because Helsinki vampires never die. All right, now you saw the boss, um, crap yourself, uh, the backstage ticket and come to party afterwards after the show. I'm gonna get ready for the show and see you guys later. Blessed be.